And there we have it. That is a really perfect mixture for this engine. Welcome back to Loom with a Classic and if you're new to my channel I hope you stick around and consider subscribing. I put out new videos every week on some Jaguar and Classic car related content. And today's video is part two of how to tune out your carburetors. You guys seem to really like part one. I got lots of great feedback, lots of great comments, but I kept getting a question over and over again and that was what do I think of color tune? Do I like to use it? And the answer is yes, I think color tune is a fantastic tool to use not only for tuning, but also to be able to diagnose if you have some issues. Because in part one, when we tune the SU carburetors, we assume that everything else is great, that you have the right needles, um, everything else is right with the engine, that you don't have any ignition issues. We assume that all that was perfect. However, you could have some issues. You could find out that later when you go on a test drive, you feel that the car maybe runs really great at idle, but once you get up to speed, maybe two, 3,000 RPMs on the engine, it's running terribly, not really well at all. And the easiest way that I think to figure out what your issues are is to use one of these. It's a color tune spark plug and if you don't know what they are, it's a see-through spark plug. So you put it in, in any engine, take out the spark plug, put this one in instead. They come in various sizes and various adapters so they fit any car. And you can have a look inside since it's see-through, made of some type of, I guess it's some kind of glass, at least it can stand the heat. You can have a look inside, you can have a look at the combustion, not only at idle, you can raise the RPM to any RPM level you want. So let's say you had issues at two or 3,000 RPMs. You hold the RPM steady at that, and you have a look inside, and you can see maybe it's running terribly rich right there at that rev range, or terribly lean, or maybe you have a misfire. You can see it's definitely not firing. All that can easily be seen with one of these. Uh, if you're new to tuning SU carburetors, I highly recommend that you watch the first part of this video and go through how you can tune your SU carburetors easily at home. If you're completely new to carbs, or if you want to know more about SU carburetors, I've also made a complete playlist that starts with an overview of how it works, and then the restoration of a carb, cleaning and polishing and everything. So if you want to check those out, I'll put links in the description down below to all of those videos and to that playlist. So let's head over to the workbench and we'll have a close look at this color tune. It's a Gunson color tune kit. Have a look at what you get in the kit. A little bit how it works then we'll head on over we'll put one of these in my car and i'll show you what it looks like when it's running too rich too lean and what it looks like when it's running just right so this is what you get in the kit we'll go through all these parts in just a little bit but i'm going to start by showing there's a picture on the outside of the box i think really illustrate the one i'm going to show later here's a quick look at the graph where you can see the different colors light blue blue orange and yellow and this is where you want to be right between light blue and blue that's for optimum economy and best air fuel ratio for your engine. This is what you get in the box. You get the spark plug itself. You get a little sealing washer. You get a plastic cover and adapter that you use to screw it in. Then when you get it in, you can't just put a spark lead in here because you're not going to see the glass through here. So you get this extender that screws on. So you screw that on once you have the spark plug in. And then you can put your HT lead on right up here so you can easily see the spark. If your spark plugs are hidden away in the side so you can't see this, they provide this. It's a mirror, you can slide over, and then when it's running, you can look at that mirror inside there, you can see down into the spark plug and you see the color of the flames. That works really well if the spark plugs are hidden on the side, such as on a V8 or something. You also get this little brush, so you can clean out the inside of the spark plugs, so you can see through the glass more clearly if that gets all dirtied up with carbon if you're running way too rich. But now let's head over to the car and I'll show you what it looks like in action. Just like in part one, I made sure the engine is fully warmed up. I've gone for a drive, everything is nice and warm, choke is turned off, and everything is up to operating temperature. That's why I'm wearing these gloves, because I'm gonna remove this spark plug and fit the color tune spark plug. So you're gonna take this one out and put the color tune in. Don't forget the little washer when you put it in so you make sure it seals. Use the little plastic adapter on top to tighten it down. You don't need to tighten down that tight at all because you have that washer. Just a little bit. Put on the extender, you can screw it on. This is so that you can put the spark plug lead, or the H lead on, a little bit higher up so you can still see into the cylinder. So now all that's on, all that's tight. 
you should easily be able to look in here. So I'm going to start up the engine and zoom in there so you guys can see the flames inside the cylinder. The engine is running out and as you can see, you can see the color of the flame in there and hopefully that's showing up on camera. As you can see, it's a light blue. And if I rev it up, you should be able to see that it goes rich for a little bit. It will go into an orange color and then if I let it go, it will go a little bit lean into a wider color as it goes back down. So let's do it real quick. You see it goes a little orange, then white, and then back to blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this carburetor a little rich for demonstrating purposes and show you guys what it looks like when you have a rich mixture. As you can see now, I've turned in the mixture screw about one and a half turns, almost two turns, and you can see the flame is completely orange all the time now at idle. That is a rich mixture. See if I rev it up, you see it just gets more and more orange. See these. And now it's back to a rich mixture again. So I'm going to turn it back to what it was and then we'll turn it the other way and I'll show you what it looks like when it's lean. I'm not sure how well it's showing up on camera but I've turned it out about two turns now and it's really lean. And you see the flame, it looks a lot weaker and it's a lot lighter. See, yeah, it does go orange for a tiny bit when you rev it up, by the way. But you can hold it revs up like that. See, it is misfiring because it's not liking this at all. And it's quite a bit too lean. So I'm going to turn it back to what it was before. And there we have it. That is a really perfect mixture for this engine. And that's it for part two of how to tune SU carburetors. I think the Gunson Color Tune is a very cool tool to have, not only to help with tuning, but also to troubleshoot and to do more advanced tuning than just tuning at idle. I think it works really well. Um, I've had cars before where I felt that the car ran great at idle. But then when I got up to speed at, like I said before, around 2,000 RPMs, it wasn't running well. And then when I checked it with a color tune, which is really quick and easy to do, I checked, okay, it was running great at idle, but once I got up to speed, it was just way too lean. So I was able to fix that and prevent any engine damage. Also, you can find out that maybe you're running way too rich when you're out driving. So if you tune it correctly, you'll save on fuel, your engine will run better. And also you'll prevent any engine damage from it being too lean or way too overly rich and you're just washing down the bores. I'll put some links down below to some places you can pick these tools up. It's a really great thing to have if you don't have one already. It's just a nice handy thing to have when you want to tune. So let me know in the comments down below if you've used the Gunson Color Tune and if you think it's a useful tool to have. Also let me know if you want to see any more things in SU carburetors. Just put that down below and I'll do my best to put out these videos. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel, it really helps out a lot. And until next time, I'm Adam, and this was Living with a Classic. I'll see you soon.